Hello everybody, welcome back to craftingonabudgetstore.com for all your scrapbooking needs and more. Today I am going to do just a quick little project. Um, we're just coming off of that, all those projects we did for the Minte collection. I still have one 6x6 six six sheet of the little mini cards cut apart. I have a couple of pieces of the die cuts and some more words and the words we can use throughout any of the Christmas collection so I'm not worried about that um, but today I wanted to because it is December 1st I wanted to make sure that we did our advent calendar um, right away so that we have it ready for our little kiddos or for our our big adult kids <laughs> like myself I remember when I was a little girl my grandmother used to go to this German butcher and every year they gave out a free advent calendar and it had so much glitter on it. It was so beautiful. And so this is what this is kind of reminding me of. It's bringing me back to that time when, you know, I would peek into each of the windows and um, look and see what I was doing. So anyway, um, this is the advent calendar. Now, this one is very interesting because it's uh, not numbered. So you kind of, usually they have like a one, a two, a three, a four. This calendar is not numbered. Oh, yes, it is. Hold on. I'm wrong. I had it on the wrong side. Sorry about that. This calendar is numbered so that you know what days to open. Now, what I did to save time, I'll show you in the, I don't know if they have it. Yeah, they do have it in the mini one. In the mini one, they have it as well, the advent calendar. What I did was I cut the advent calendar out, first of all, and then I used an X-Acto knife and I cut all my doors just to save time because if not, we'd be here forever cutting um, doors. And then I cut out all of the pieces that go behind the doors. So very easy peasy. We're just going to put the pieces that go behind the doors, behind the doors. Now, obviously the ho, ho, ho is for the 24th and the Merry Christmas is for the 25th. So we already know that that's going in those two windows. I think we're going to use art glitter glue because I think that would be the best for this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to flip it on the back. And we're going to see, I'm going to just put a tiny bit of glue on the edge of the picture. I mean, tiny. And I think that's why this art glitter glue will be good because we have this little tip here. And I want to make sure I don't get any on the picture because what's going to happen then is we're going to have a nightmare. Um, when we open it, it won't open. And the poor little kiddos will get very upset. <laughs> very upset. So let's see how we did. Make sure we did it right. And now I'm not opening these windows all the way because I want them to kind of stay shut pretty good. But yes, that went in there really cute, very nice. And then our ho, 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 we're going to put up here. I'm wondering if I should just glue. I think I'm going to try to just glue on the outside lines. I think that might be a better deal. So let's see. And I'm shaking. I apologize. I had my inhaler. and But I knew I had to do this today because... We want to start this right away. So now we have all these other little pieces. Now these little guys are going to go down here. So we'll do the little guys last. So now you can put these in any order you see fit. I'm just going to kind of randomly put them. Just make sure that they're all going the right way. And this is such a cute project. Super fun, super easy. Let's see. 
These little images are so cute, guys. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, adding the glue here is much easier. Do it this way. Do it on the reverse side. <laughs> much easier, guys. And if you have a little glue, don't worry because we know that this art glitter glue dries clear. But you're not going to see this back anyway. And I'll show you what I did when we get all of these glued in. What I mean by that. This is so cute. This is, I never made an advent calendar. I've only ever opened one. <laughs> so it's cute to make one. And I love Stamperia paper. Some people say stamp, Stamperia. Some people say Stamperia. I say Stamperia. I might be saying it wrong, but it's all good. You all know what it is, and you all love it too. <laughs> their, their paper is just awesome. It really is. It's just so beautiful. So I'll tell you a funny story. I went to go use my X-Acto knife and no blade. Don't know where the blade went to. And so I have to get extra blades. So I said to my husband, I need an X-Acto knife uh, right away. So it's urgent. I need it for this project. And so he's like, well, I have like a cutter you could use. I'm like, okay. So he gives me this. Like, this is like Stanley. I mean, this is like to build a house with. <laughs> but this is what I used. My cutting was all off because I could not get a hold of it but I was like oh my gosh next I'll be having like a snap on tools in here or something this thing is like so heavy but desperate times call for desperate measures right isn't that what they say and I was desperate so I I used it <laughs> I used it guys this little thing is so cute it's got a little kitty in a mailbox oh my gosh I can't take it can't take these little pictures. They're so cute. This is fun. This is a fun project. This would be fun to, well, I mean, it would be fun to do with your kids, but don't you want to surprise them with it? So maybe don't, maybe don't do it with them. Make it a surprise. Now, which way would that go? You know, it has to, hmm, hmm, I think it goes like that. And they even have a baby one in the six by six, which is adorbs. We're going to do like a, I think what we're going to do with this line is like a really like loaded up file folder with flips and all kinds of stuff. I think that would be fun to do. Something different. This paper is so gorgeous. And I thought, mm, that would be fun to do with this. And I'm just making sure that I'm not going over my cut lines or else my door is not going to open. So just so you know, if, you're, if, you're, if you can't see up close where I'm gluing, I'm gluing away from where I cut. Because we want to make sure they open. It's going the right way. Yeah, it's the, the, the main thing is making sure it's going the right way. Because if it's not, oh my gosh, we're going to have a problem. It would be funny though if you opened one up and it was upside down. <laughs> then you would know it was handmade for sure. Oh, 
got this big one up here. Now, of course, no place to put chocolates in this one. I know that a lot of people get those chocolate advent calendars. Now I'm just using the little pieces. And I've gotten those before too. Those are really cute. I really over glued that one. That's okay. It's hard to see. Because it's a little dark back here on the reverse side. So it's kind of hard to see where you cut. These little guys are so cute. I love Advent. I'd love to get one of those like um, Advent. It looks like a house. And then it has all like the little doors or whatever, you know, and the windows open and stuff. Oh, it kind of looks like a dollhouse. And let me put this one here. As you could see, some of these are tall and some of these are shorter. And that's because the bottom row of windows is very short. So make sure you don't put a short one up on the top there. But yeah, I've, I've seen those like Advent houses and I think they are so cute. Oh, I would just love to have one. I think that would be a really nice Christmas tradition to have set up. Although with all my setups, I don't know where I would put it, to be honest. Um, but I do think it would be really special. Almost done. Told you this was quick and easy. It's quick and easy when it's already cut. <laughs> but guys, that cut that cutting tool. Oh my word. <laughs> Is crazy when he brought that in. I was just like, what is that? You know, I'm used to just this little thin X-Acto knife and my, and you know, I have a cheap X-Acto knife. The blade's always falling out. You know, I'm not used to this, you know, heavy duty tools. My goodness. I'm trying to think of what else I can use with that. I could probably cut wood with that. Let me put this last one here. Hmm, there they all are. So now let's just take some peeks. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, my very first one I'm having a problem with. This isn't good. should have opened it with this. Oh, look at the glue. Come out. Wow, the glue came out of that one a little bit. All right, well, that's okay. Be careful because the glue came out a little bit on that one. That's a bummer. Yeah, the rest of them are okay. I'm looking. I'm peeking. Peeking in. Wow, oh, they're so cute. Look at look at how cute. They're really cute. And I'm using this thing. I don't even know where I got this thing from. It might have been Dollar Tree. But it's a great way to open it. To just like prep the pages a little bit. It's going to be a problem if they don't. There. There we go. Yeah. Maybe you do have to prep the pages a little bit. I 
they'll stay shut. I just didn't want to open them too much because then they don't go back in their own place. You know what I mean? Aww, it's so cute. This thing you could probably get, I think it's for painting. Oh, look at how sweet when you open the doors. Oh, I love it. I'm just making, what I'm doing right now is I'm just going through, making sure nothing is sticking. And this is a perfect tool for it, to be honest. And it's not sticking. Look at the little, oh, is this the kitty with the mailbox? Yes. How cute. So I'm just making sure that it's easy, easy to open. But I didn't glue anything. Oh, I'd like to ask you all too for prayers. I have a, a friend who lost her mom um, recently, like last week, and it's been devastating. Uh, COVID went through their whole family. Their their whole family got COVID after, um, right before Thanksgiving. And the father is still in the hospital. The brother was in the hospital. The kids got sick. It's been a nightmare. Um, and her mom was doing good. And then she went to a rehab for the breathing help, you know, help with the breathing. And she got COVID. I mean, she, she didn't recover. She had to go back to the hospital and get put on a ventilator. And that was it. And I just feel so bad for my friend because I know how bad she's hurting. Um, so many people are hurting for the holidays. It's so sad when you lose someone. And I mean, it's sad when you lose someone at any time and then you have to have your first holiday without them. This one's stuck a little. I'm going to give it a little help there. Um, but yeah, it's very sad. Very, very sad. There's the snow globe. Cute. I'm trying not to open them too much because then they'll stay open. You know what I mean? So I'm just making sure that they all open but yeah and so I, I really feel bad for my friend and so if you could include her I'm not going to uh, say her name because you know I don't know what family members know yet what family members don't know yet and so not for me to broadcast it, but I know that I have a lot of people that watch that are praying people. And if you could pray, that would be wonderful. All right. Okay. Oh, that's a little gingerbread house. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so cute. And then once the kiddos open it, they can actually, you know, flip open the whole door and leave it open. You know, I just didn't want. Uh-oh. Looks like this one's a problem here. Wide open, wide open. This looks like it is glued shut. Oh, no. Whew, for a minute there, I thought, uh-oh. Okay. Well, that was fine. That was fine. Good. And again, just prepping these a little bit. Which way is this one open? That one's good. Oh, day two. Day two, we're having a problem. Now. Okay. 
all right so then i thought you know this is not really that sturdy so you know how you always have the backs of our paper pads i just cut it to fit the size of the calendar so that we could then glue it so that it has a stronger base and then i thought we could put some seam binding up at the top so it could be hung and then easy peasy we have a cute little project so let's put the seam binding on the top here and i don't know how long wow i really cut that long that's okay that's all right <laughs> Who knows how long you want to hang it. You can always tie it and not up at the top too. Um, there we go. And then I'm just going to glue around the edges of this. That's why I don't waste anything. I keep all of, you know, if I have a, a paper pad that has, you know, a cover and a back to it, I save both because you can always use them, you know, like a lot of people save like cereal boxes and stuff like that. Well, those you can use. You don't have to go out and buy, you know, tons of chipboard or whatever. You can use that. I'm just kind of doing a little bit in the middle here, but not much, guys. Just little strips. I don't think it's going to matter too much. Okay. Stand up, stand yourself upright. There we go. And there we have it. There we have it, guys. It's just smoothing it out. And this is just going to make it a lot sturdier. And then let me get my glitter, which I should have got out beforehand. And I can't reach it from where I'm sitting, so I have to I have to move. I have to move, guys. I'm waiting for May to get in the stickles. Um, because I really do prefer stickles to what I'm going to use. Um, but what I'm going to use is what I have on hand, so that's what we're going to use. Um, but I definitely, totally prefer stickles, and I know May has them like in the pearlescent ones, and she is going to get the glitter ones. So this one actually is from, I think it's from Walmart. Now I always squirt a little bit out, see? I don't know if you saw that or not. I always squirt some out to get it going um, before because there's always like a huge air bubble in it. See what I'm saying? And now I'm going to glitter this up because we need to have glitter on this. Glitter on the snow. Glitter everywhere. And I just like, I, I just, for me personally, you don't have to add glitter if you don't want to. Um, you could just leave it as is. It's really sweet. But I like glitter. But like you can see how this one comes out. It's, it's not, it's not nearly as nice as the stickles. So if you have stickles, use those. This is so pretty. And then I'll have to, this takes a long time to dry too. So if you have this one from Walmart, don't be putting anything on top of this. Because it does take a long time to dry. But just 
the glitter on the snow. It looks so pretty. I love it. Mm, it's hard to push out, too. floppy there. It's okay. Just move it. I'm actually dragging some over. I'm putting it over here. I'm a little heavy on that side, but it's okay. So if you have this paper, that is how easy it is. Oh, I forgot up here to put this um, advent calendar together. Just be careful with the um, glue when you're gluing it. I mean, I did notice that some of the glue came through a little bit. Um, it's hard to tell like how on the back there. So just be really careful. I mean, you could, I probably used a way more glue than I probably needed to since I was adhering this to something, but I wanted to make sure they stuck. So that's why I did it the way I did it. Oh, you know, let's put some snow on the wreaths, glitter on the wreaths too. I like I'll put it on the ribbon. And there you have it, guys. Your easy advent calendar. Very simple to do. And it's so cute. It's so pretty. You can hang it. And even you could put it on a little easel, too, if you had a little easel. If you didn't want to, um, if you didn't want to, um, hang it, you could put it on a little easel. You can put it wherever you want to put it it's just it's just so sweet it's so precious i'm glad that that was included in the paper i think that was really awesome that they did that i just think that was a really cool cool little thing fun thing to add i'm seeing i didn't put my just put a little bit more up here because it doesn't look too heavy there we go. Maybe here. I don't know. on top of there. There we go. All right. So there you have it, guys. The advent calendar. Stay tuned for the file folder. I don't know if I'm going to do the file folder tonight. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling. Um, but I wanted to get the advent calendar done because it is December 1st. So open your first window today um, once it's dry. And start having some fun with it great great project really easy to do guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you get this romantic uh, christmas collection i did do a full review of this collection on um a video so you can see it up close and personal and you will see how beautiful it is um you'll see every page in detail and everything that i i got i got the um 12 by 12 the 6 by 6 and then I got the package of cards that come with it so and these are the cards that come with it so you won't be disappointed in this collection it's really really sweet and I hope you get it I hope I hope you like if you like traditional reds and greens um, and vintage this collection is perfect for you so you know what I'm going to say. Stay safe. Be well. God bless you all. Oops. I got my glitter. And bye for now.